Whenever someone asks me about what exactly is loops and what is the logic behind it, I explain them with this really cool and really simple example. So after years of hard working, you were managed to buy five different cars because just like me, you also love cars. And one day you decided to take a trip from your home, which will require 50 liters of fuel. Now, in order for you to decide which car to take, of course, what you will do, you will go to the first car, let's say a black car, and you will check if the fuel is greater than 50 liter or not. If yes, then you will take that car, else you will move to another car. So you go to the pink car, again check for fuel. Similarly, you go to the red car, blue car, and finally you go to the yellow car. So if you think about it, all the cars are elements of an array and then you are performing a same operation on each one of the element right for each element for each car you are checking your uh, fuel and if the fuel is greater than what you are expecting then you will take that car else you will leave that car so that is how for loops work now this is the logic behind loops in javascript we have two types of loops first is for loop second is while loop both are under the hood working on same principle but just the way of writing code is little bit different and of course both of them have their own importance now let's get into the code and try to build a simple loop and then from there we will try to complicate it awesome now we will begin by opening a fresh code and now for the sake of testing what we will do is we'll take the same example that we had in our presentation so let's say i have a variable of cars which is an array and inside that array what i have is the fuel which car has at that point so let's say a black car has 60 then we have 23 then we have 45 then we have 32 and then the last car is 56 all right now let's say that you went into uh, you went into the garage and had a look at each car and then found out the fuel all the car has all right now in order for us to do this so this is the condition right to check fuel in car what we need to do is if that car has fuel greater than 50 then we will console log we can take this car right else we can console log we cannot or let's say if i want to write can't then i will escape that character take this car right so ultimately we want to do this so we want to repeat this if condition for all the elements that we have so we will start by building a for loop all right so for loop so for i is equal to 0 i less than cars length i plus plus and this is how we write a for loop i will first explain you what exactly we are doing so we start the for loop by using the keyword for and inside this we define a variable so var i is equal to 0 so what is this basically what we are telling our program is that first check cars length so of, of course the cars length will be 5 right because we have 5 elements and then we will start with the 0th index right that means the 0th index is the first element right so as long as i is less than car's length we want to perform something that means if 0 is less than 5 true then perform whatever we write in this so if i write console console dot log car number plus i let's see what do we get now if i save this and if i go back if i open my console okay uh, of course the car is not defined so what i will do is i will simply comment this 
and now you see we get car number 0 1 2 3 4 that means all the cars are inside this loop and as soon as the value of i became 5 and how exactly i value is increasing because of this that means for i is equal to 0 in the starting check if i is less than car's length if yes then execute this and increment the value of i by 1 and then again check this condition if that is true then again execute this and again increment the value of i by 1 so you can see how easily we can loop through all the elements inside a array by using a for loop similar to this if you remember our arrays property correctly that if i want to extract this element i can pass their index number right so i can pass cars and then inside a square bracket i that means cars 0 cars 1 cars 2 and it will fetch me all the numbers that we have in our array right so cars 60 23 45 32 56 so that is how we can access each one of the element inside an array by using a for loop now that we are getting this cars i as a petrol or let's say fuel available so var fuel is equal to this then i can apply my if condition here so if fuel is greater than 50 then i want to console log we can take this car and if it is not greater than 50 then i can console log we cannot take this car awesome right now let's see what do we get if i go back i can get car number 60 we can take this car 23 we cannot take 45 we cannot take 32 we cannot take and finally 56 we can take so you can see how exactly loops are working loops are really important to execute a repetitive task on a given uh, variable uh, or array or object or things like that so we need to understand the concept behind loops you can see how easily we can create a loop right so this is how we can do certain tasks on all the elements which are available similar to this we also have a while loop now let's try to understand what exactly is while loop first of all i will console log for loop here for loop all right and now we will check while loop console dot log while loop all right now in while loop we first have to declare a variable so var j is equal to 0 and then we need to pass something like this while j is less than cars length execute something what do we want to execute of course we want to execute the same thing again car number and then check everything is going fine now of course i will need to replace i with j because now we have a variable j and one thing that i don't want to miss is whatever is the condition so even if the fuel is greater than 50 or no at any point of time i want to increment my j by one right because otherwise it will stuck in an infinite loop what will happen is it will keep on checking j is equal to 0 only if i don't increase the value of j right and that is how while loop works now if i save this if i go back and if i refresh you can see that we got the same result for loop car number and then we, if we can or cannot take the car similarly for while loop again we got the same results so this is how for and while loops work right now now if you think about it technically i am not interested in checking all my cars right what i am interested in doing is just find out what car i can i can take and i cannot take and then just, let's just go so if i found out that the first car i check has fuel greater than 50 then i don't need to check other cars right because my work is done i found that specific car which i want to take so basically in terms of 
program what we want to do is we want to break our for loop as soon as we got the results that we want so as soon as i found out the first car which can fulfill my need i want to break that loop and come out of it right so how to do that now i will simply copy this for loop i will write here for loop with break and i will comment out these two loops here now what we want to do is we just want to add one keyword known as break that's all so what will happen is as soon as this condition hits true and as soon as this console log is done we will break out of this for loop now let's try to see what exactly do we get when we run this code if i go back you can see that for loop with break car number 60 we can take this car and you can see we came out of that for loop immediately if i change this 60 with 23 and 23 with 60 you can see what will happen if i save this you can see that we checked for the first car we cannot take that car then we checked for the another car we can take that car and then we stopped there so this is how break works basically you will come out of that uh, come out of that for loop as soon as you get that result similar to break we also have continue continue works a little bit different than break basically when you add continue all the conditions that you write next to them are omitted so now let's try to see what exactly is continue again i will copy this i will comment this and i will paste it here now for loop with continue continue now if i write uh, let's say if i write continue here continue then whatever code that i write after that will not be executed so console dot log text after continue and for the sake of testing we will keep this console log as it is all right now what will happen is whenever we get into this uh, condition if the fuel is greater than 50 we will execute this but whatever code is written after this continue will not be executed now if i save this and if i go back you can see that we are just getting this take this car right we are not getting text after continue if i comment this then you can see we again we are getting text after continue all right if i uncomment this then you can see we are get we are not getting that text so continue comes handy when we have nested if conditions when we want to execute certain task only if a condition inside a condition is true so that is how uh, we can use the continue and break so this is the basics of how to write loops in javascript we can of course increase the complexity as much as we want like introducing nested if conditions or introducing for loop inside a for loop we can also do that most of the time we will be doing it when we get into the gis part of coding because inside that we want to first of all you know loop through all the layers and then inside each layer again we want to loop through all the features and things like that so we will do that when we get into the gis coding part but for now i would recommend you guys to try and test this for loop while loop on your own condition thank you